lessons, there are plentiful that we can take from the Qurbani animals. When we are placing the knife over the throat of those animals, then I have mentioned this many times that we should be placing that knife at the same time over the throat of our evil desires. And that example that when does the sun rise, the sun rises after the horizon has turned red. We have to look at the sky, first you will find the horizon turning red, thereafter the ball of the sun comes out. And that redness that is there is also is because of that sun which is about to come out. But first it has to turn red. In the same way the desires of our heart, they have to bleed, the evil desires, we have to bleed them. They must surround our heart. There must be a kind of pain that we experience, like how that animal now we are slaughtering, the blood is going to flow. Like that these evil desires, when they come into our hearts, then we must place the knife on the throat of those evil desires. When that is going to happen, and the horizons of the heart will turn red with the blood of our evil desires, then we will find the suns, S-U-N-S, of the muhabbat and the love of Allah Ta'ala, then rising in the heart. We don't want to sacrifice any of our evil desires. We just want to give a little bit of money, charity here, a little bit of qurbani there, a little bit of that there. But what about the qurbani of those evil desires that in our hearts? There Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, was prepared to put the knife over the throat of his son. And here we cannot put the knife over the throat of our haram desires. And if we are going to give up that haram, then nobody else is going to benefit but ourselves. Because I have said many times that in haram, the spelling, if you have to take the English spelling, is H-A-R-A-A-M. So there is harm in it too, and it's double A, that means double harm. There is no goodness in haram. It brings nothing but restlessness, anxieties, problems and worries. That is what it brings. So therefore this was a test of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam. And Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam passed all the tests with flying colors. Lessons there are plentiful that we can take from the...